on there. Nope, 86. I'm saying 86. 83, 83, 83. 82. 86. 87. Come on, Larry. Ah, I won. You should have gone with the numbers. 83. <laughs> Saturday, May 20th, I'm here at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, Range 103. As you can see behind me, there's a bunch of people lining up to sign in or to register for the match or check in for the match. Today is an NRA regional, a mid-range regional, 3x600, and tomorrow is also a 3x600. It's a two-day match. I'm only going to shoot today, um, Saturday. I don't think I'll be out tomorrow. But I'm out here with the my Remington 700 that I've been shooting for the past several months, 308. Just wanted to uh, get some rounds down range because it's so difficult for me to get any kind of uh, range time at 600 yards. So today is just another fun day for me. Uh, it's quiet as far as the wind's concerned, but I anticipate it's going to get pretty windy today because the forecast called for high winds, possibly a uh, uh, wind warnings, at least for the Inland Empire. I don't know about Oceanside, but we'll see. It is what it is, and it could be a long day. Hopefully, we can start, it, um, start shooting around at least by 0830. Technically, we should start shooting at 08, but sometimes we lag depending on how the check-in process goes. But it could be a long day depending on how many people show up for the match. Al Marita, Relay 2, Target 78. Michael Niles, Relay 3, Target 81. 381, thank you. Jonathan Ocab, Relay 2, Target 88. So I'm standing in the tower of the 600 yard line at range 103 at Camp Pendleton. Um, just if you see over my shoulder behind me, there's just people uh, getting their gear brought up to the firing points or the behind the line and we're just waiting to get the match kicked off. So today, as I mentioned earlier, is an NRA regional. It's just like one level below a state championship. So the NRA regional is just kind of a bigger match. Uh, more awards will be given out potentially. and. Uh, it's a 3x600, and unfortunately, the match or participant count is kind of lower than expected simply because there's some new range restrictions right now for 103 as far as cartridges. So they're only allowing 223 and 308 right now, or 223, 556, or 308, 762. Um, there's some kind of restrictions going on with the range operations. So a lot of people bowed out for today because they don't shoot any of those cartridges, and a lot of guys, especially F open shooters, aren't shooting. Um, 308 obviously they're shooting something else something like a 284 or some seven millimeter variant so the number of people who should have been here is a little bit down um, but there's still a good amount of folks out here so it, it is what it is uh, so we're just again we're just waiting for the match to get kicked off uh, just a couple notes that I wanted to bring up um, kind of not related to the match but I do have two projects that I am kind of working on and trying to finish we have the, one of the rifles that I have coming up is a, uh, I don't have the action yet, but I do have the barrel. It's, uh, I didn't want to make any kind of indications of what I have right now, but um, just to give you a teaser, I have a new Bartlein 5R barrel. That's a six millimeter blank 
one and seven and a half twist. Um, the cartridge I've pretty much settled on, but I don't want to mention that yet. Um, when I get the action, I'll kind of announce what I'm going to build. But the action is still being built. The chassis or slash stock that I ordered is still being built. But once I get those two items, or at least the action, I'll mention when I, or announce when I'm building. Um, then my other sort of half project is still that Savage that I rebuilt in 265 Creedmoor. I actually got a scope coming in, which I had on back order since November of 2016. So once I, I got that new scope coming in, and which is why I haven't really been shooting that rifle, I wanted to get a new scope before I continued working on it. But so I got that new scope coming in. I'm going to replace the uh, the base. I have a Ken Farrell zero MOA base, so I'm going to replace it with a Badger Ordnance 20 MOA base. That's coming in. So I'm going to yank everything off right now, and I'm going to paint the barrel because it's a uh, a Shillin stainless steel barrel. So I'm just going to paint that really quickly with some um, Aluma High Two, and then. Um, once the base comes in and the scope comes in, I'll mount everything up and I'll show that in a range vlog, a future range vlog, because I'm going to have to go site all that stuff in. So anyway, um, that's like all the non-match related stuff I wanted to bring up at this point. So we're still here on the 600 yard line. It's just past 8 and we're just waiting to get the match kicked off. Do not leave any trash, brass, or ammunition at the range. Do not kill or injure any wildlife. Do not damage or remove any plants from the range. The fire danger rating for today is moderate. We are a guest of the Marine Corps. Keep the range clean. Have fun and be safe. This concludes your safety brief. On the firing line, your three minute preparation period has ended. This next stage of fire will be slow fire, firing unlimited ciders and 20 rounds for record in a total time limit of 30 minutes. On the firing line, with one round, load. Is the line ready? The firing line is ready. Ready on the right, ready on the left. Already on the firing line, you may commence fire. Alright, Mark, good luck. I just finished my first stage of fire. It was actually a 185, so I dropped 15 points, which is not really good at all, but it is what it is. I threw shots 18 and 19. They were a 7 and 8, respectively. I don't know what happened there. Uh, the wind was actually a little squirrely for 600. It was actually changing direction slightly. So I was finding myself holding, uh, for the most part, uh, holding a little bit between uh, 10 and 9 ring on the 3 o'clock side. And just uh, as I saw the Mirage boil up, I would switch my hold on where I was uh, holding my reticle.
on the firing line with one round load. Is the line ready? The firing line is ready. Ready on the right? Ready on the left? All ready on the firing line. You may commence fire. So it's just about 1500 hours uh, cutting the range vlog kind of short I've I didn't record much outside after my second and third strings simply because of the wind and uh, due to all the overgrowth of all the the plant life here on the range like my I I know I'm allergic to something that's growing out here because or has some kind of allergic reaction because when I first started shooting here back in the early 2000s um, my first time here at this range when it was still like um, very green out at Wilcox range 103 I had some kind of um, Really bad like tearing up and then uh, my uh, Sinuses were really bad and I had to take some antihistamines or some leaf sinus and cold to like calm that down and today is like the first time that ever happened to me here at Wilcox range 103 and in over 12 14 years, so I don't know, like the rains or whatever that California got hit by in uh, late 2016, early 2017, caused all this overgrowth and all that stuff is just, all the pollens or whatever's in the air is just killing me. So I barely got through my second and third string of fire and then scoring for the other guys on my on my uh, firing point. So I just had, right when uh, the last string of fire um, ended, I went ahead and cut out um, before the team matches because I'm not going to shoot the team match and I'm going to miss the barbecue that they're having here simply because I just can't can't be outside right now um, in this uh, in these conditions should have brought some antihistamines or something but I don't have anything in my truck or my um, my emergency bag I think I have like just regular Advil but I don't have anything for like uh, allergies so anyway um, my first string of fire was like a 185 my second string and third string were like 170s which is really bad and pretty much um, Giannis one of the guys on my firing point it's pretty much iterating what I already know is the fact that my my shooting setup is not really optimal for f-class my rear bag is not it's just like a squeezable bag it's not like a good bunny ear style rear bag that you would use for bench rest or f-class shooting so if i want to shoot really consistent groups in f-class i need to get like an adjustable bipod like a finely adjustable bipod and then run a real rear bag um at least for ftr but i don't but i don't come out here to compete so much as i do just to try out my gun because uh, Pendleton is like the only place right now that I can shoot true 600 um, and then a thousand if I want to shoot a thousand on the long range so um, I don't know will I invest money in some f-class gear maybe but like I said I don't really compete much I come out to these matches rarely maybe once every three months or so I'll come out to a match just to, to get some trigger time at true distance but anyway um that's pretty much it. I want to cut this range vlog kind of kind of short. I didn't really get much footage because um, I actually had to go to the pits. Uh, I tried to hire. I was I wanted a pit puller, but I guess the way they did squatting and a lot of people fell out. Um, 
who didn't show up and the way they re-squatted, I ended up not getting a pit puller, so I had to go into the pits, as you saw in the footage earlier. So I wasn't on the line. I wasn't on the line taking extra footage of other people shooting, so there wasn't really much content for this for this vlog uh, other than me, myself, and then my, my fellow uh, competitors on my firing point. Anyway, today is Saturday, May 20th at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, Wilcox Range 103 for the NRE Regional mid-range match um, day one um, that's pretty much it unfortunately um, not much else I'm going to talk about I'm going to go probably hit up the Wendy's on base before I leave and then uh, just get um, relaxed a little bit and try to recover from what was going on as far as the uh, as far as my allergic reaction to whatever is in the air right now so anyway hope to see you until the next vlog thanks for watching Drop two high nines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>